Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Zero Sixty. And on today's episode, I'm having a bit of an experiment. I want to see what the alternate methods or different ways of cleaning the intake valves are and how difficult they are compared to each other. So when I needed to clean the intake valves on my E92 engine uh, earlier in the year, I did a little bit of research and I saw that the professional way to do it is with walnut shell. Uh, I ended up chasing down walnut shell and by the time I actually got the right equipment and the right shells, it was a pretty easy job to clean the intake. However, I know a lot of guys, um, they don't really want to invest the money in the machines, the tools, etc., which I totally understand. So they look at cheaper options to do it, normally using a chemical method. So there are some, well, this is the one that I hear about the most in our comment section, the CRC intake valve and turbo cleaner, vehicular DIY. I watched his video on that back at the start of the year, and that's what he used to do his. Now, I actually bought some three bonge engine conditioner uh, and that was to clean up my cylinder head which is sitting on the bench over here if you haven't been following along i've got two n54s with issues yay um now i bought that just to clean up the carbon deposits inside the cylinder um actually i ended up with it because the local parts stores that's what pretty much all the mechanics around here use so i wanted to do a bit of a comparison and compare the crc to the three bond stuff and see how they perform as a valve cleaner and then i thought why not throw something else in the mix and we'll do a comparison with the walnut shell. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna break it down and I'll show you inside the cylinders shortly, but I've got the head laid out here. Both of the cams are off, so basically all of the intake valves are closed. Uh, and I'm gonna separate it so that two of the valves or intake ports will be cleaned with the CRC product. Two of them will be cleaned with the three bond product and two of them are gonna be walnut blasted. Now, I guess what we need to do, I'm gonna put you guys on a stand and I'll grab my phone and we'll have a look at each of the valves, each of the ports, and we'll work out a bit of a plan of attack. Okay, so we'll try and do some editing trickery so you can see what the phone can see a bit better. But I just wanna show you each of the ports because they're not equally, they're not equally dirty, if that makes sense. Well, you'll see in a sec. But here we have cylinder six, fairly, sorry, that's cylinder five. This is cylinder six, start at the back. So this is cylinder six. Uh, now this is probably the worst cylinder out of the lot. It's quite heavy on the contamination and you can even see a little piece in there where a chunk of carbon's recently fallen off the valve. And I reckon that's what's actually caused my, my uh, valve issue with this engine, a chunk of that falling through. But so we have cylinder six there, that's very heavily contaminated. Cylinder five, Still quite thick, although you can see a little bit more metal, raw metal down inside the port, but yeah, the valves themselves are also very, very covered. Cylinder four, now this is the cylinder that actually had the problem. Uh, it was the one that had the piece of carbon, well, just the carboned up valve and causing it not to seal properly. I'd say the, the valve on the right hand side is worse, but maybe that's because chunks have fallen off that left hand valve. It's crazy what they look like. Cylinder three, now these are a fair bit cleaner. You can actually see some raw intake valve on that right hand side there, which is weird how it's just not as dirty. I guess it's got something to do with how the PCV recirculates through the system. That is cylinder two. Again, not quite as bad. In fact, very visually different to the other ones. And cylinder one in there. Now you can actually see the most, the most amount of raw metal on the valves in cylinder one. So cylinder one's actually the cleanest of the lot. So here's what I'm thinking. What I'm gonna do, I was originally thinking we'll pair them up in two. So we'll do walnut, CRC, and then the three bond. But what I think I'll do, because they're, there's such different levels of dirtiness, and it, it seems to be the further back, the dirtier it is. So what I'm gonna do, we'll go, We'll give the walnut blasting the hardest job of them all, um, because I think the walnut blasting is the right way to do it and the quickest way, so we'll make that one the most difficult. So cylinder six will be walnut, cylinder five will be CRC, and then cylinder four will be three bond, because these two are pretty similar to each other. And then we'll do the same for the front bank. So cylinder three is going to be walnut blasted, cylinder two will be um, CRC and then cylinder one will be three bond. Now I'm also going to do it in three different steps. So I'll do, obviously if you're doing this chemically yourself, you'll be able to, well actually you can't because when this, when the engine's in the car, you're only going to have two cylinders closed at once. So that is a bit of messing around. So you will have to do, we'll probably have to do a couple of, you'll do pairs anyway when you're doing it. So you can't just sort of soak all six cylinders. But anyway, what I'll do, I'll, I think I'm gonna start with the CRC. So I'll get the CRC sprayed in, we'll let it soak in for a few minutes and then we'll start working on those two cylinders. I have got two brush sets. Um, I'm gonna keep them separate for the three bond and the CRC. They are just plastic, steel and brass brushes. And I've also got some other little brass brushes as well that we might need to agitate it as well as some picks, screwdrivers, just to try and chip any of the, um, the carbon off. But that's how it's gonna work. So we'll do the CRC first, then we'll do the three bond, and then we'll do the walnut blasting. I'm gonna limit the chemical cleaning to 15 minutes per product. 
So if it takes longer than 15 minutes to do two cylinders, to me, it's not worth doing because I reckon it was under 10 minutes to warm up blast, under 15 minutes to warm up blast all six when I did it earlier in the year. So we'll try and try and make it a little bit, a little bit fair. So there's a 15 minute limit on cleaning. I'm going to get straight into it. Let's get the CRC stuff. Okay, so I'm going to be switching between my phone and the GoPro just so that you guys can sort of see in the valve. It's very hard to get light in there, strangely enough. Now I haven't actually, I've never used this CRC stuff before. Um, when I first saw it, I just assumed it was some sort of brake cleaner, but uh, it definitely has a lot more warnings on it than that. Yeah, it does say, huh, interestingly, the instructions for this are the same as the three bond. You're supposed to do it while the engine's running. There you go. Okay, so there we have cylinder five. Let's uh, fill it up with the CRC stuff. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, it's going in, it's going in. It smells nice. Okay, I'm gonna let that soak in there for a little while and I'm, I'll probably time lapse the rest, but I'll um, do cylinder two at the same time. Okay guys, that is 10 minutes in, that is cylinder five and quite a few applications of it and then trying to agitate it as well as I can. Uh, I've sort of tried to scrape and scratch the valves as much as possible, but it's very hard to get to them, obviously. And that is cylinder two. Cylinder two's not coming up as clean, which is strange because it seemed cleaner than cylinder five, but I'm gonna keep going on. That, uh, the 10 minutes has not done much. Uh, I might extend it to 20 minutes because why not? Uh, I don't think you're gonna get these that clean in, t in 15 minutes. So we'll make it 20 minutes. Moving on. Okay, something I've noticed about the CRC method is you get filthy. I am covered in carbon juice. Uh, but let's have a look at what the cylinders are actually looking like. Now they're still full of carbon, I haven't emptied it yet, but we have just hit 20 minutes. So I've stopped the scrubbing and we'll do some filming and show you guys what's going on. So I've been trying to scratch away at the valves as much as I can, um, but it is hard to get a brush down the bottom. So it'll be interesting to see what they actually look like under the fluid, but you can see the majority of the carbon is off the actual port. However, on this, this one, cylinder two, the carbon on the port was much harder to get off. So it was a little bit weird. All right, I think from here, I need to, I don't need to do, I need to try and get all that stuff out. All right guys, this is probably almost definitely gonna make a massive mess. See what happens. Whoa, fuck. <laughs> Comes out the, uh, Ah, the port. Of course, the M54s have a little port that goes up into the rocker cover. This is ridiculous how much mess it's making. Many points down for mess. Wow. Ew. Oh, this is horrific. This is horrific. Okay, so that has made a bloody mess. Massive points down for the amount of mess the chemical cleaning makes. Uh, let's have a look inside the uh, cylinder. This is cylinder five. Um, like a lot of it is gone. I'd say 80% of it, 90% maybe is gone. But look at that. That is still a hell of a lot of crap on that valve. And it is difficult because I can't see it when it's full of the cleaner. And yeah, we've spent 20 minutes. I haven't emptied this one yet. Uh, look, it's just, everything is now covered in splatter, trying to get that out. I'm um, gonna have a bit of a clean up and we'll try the three bond. But so far the CRC is way too much work, way too much work. Well, the cylinders are fully emptied now. And I'll just show you guys what the final result is. So that is half an hour after we started doing these two cylinders and 
We just focus down there. So yeah, it's not. If this is causing problem, it's not good. They need at least twice the amount of work, I reckon. At least twice. This is the first cylinder two. Like you can see, it's it's breaking the carbon down, but there's still a hell of a lot in there. And interestingly, I will say the actual the CRC stuff does seem to do does seem to work just by spraying it on. It's um it does dissolve carbon. That's nearly oh my god, it's probably half the can gone as well just to do those two. And they're not done. It's pretty bad. All right, I think we'll try the uh, three bond next. So I just thought I'd show you guys quickly what we're dealing with with the three bond stuff. We have cylinder four there and a fair bit of build up and cylinder one. That's gonna be the other three bond cylinder. That's what it looked like inside. Let's get the three bond in. Now, unlike, I know with the three bond when I was using it last week, it foams up. Uh, actually, I'll see if I can get that on a video of that. Hey, where are we pointing? Oh, it's the wrong cylinder, dickhead. So with the three bonds onto cylinder four, uh, it, it does foam up. So we'll fill it right up. So you get this foaming action, and then it does actually settle down into a normal liquid. But like I did with the CRC, I'm basically just gonna fill it right up. Oh, the three bond smells stronger than the CRC. Yeah, far out. You don't want to breathe the smell of the three bond, where the CRC is not too bad on the nose. I'd say this is more of a retail, retail type product. All right, I'll let that soak in for a bit. I'll actually clean up in the meantime, I think. Okay, so that's about 25 minutes since I started the three bond. I think it's gonna be equally as dirty. The three bond liquid itself as it settles is definitely thicker than, well, it's much thicker than the CRC. And it, like I said earlier, it smells a hell of a lot more potent. Now, cylinder four appears to be quite clean, like the edges of the, well, the edges of the port, better than what we got with the CRC stuff, but cylinder one, much like cylinder two, just doesn't want to come clean. It's weird. All right, so I guess from this point, I need to get all that out. I'm going to tip it out again, or try and tip it out because it just makes too much mess with the air gun. And I'll just spray a bit in the ports while we got one on an angle. The three bond. Oh, I thought the head was going. Okay. So the three bond has like a, um, a foaming agent in it. So when it goes on, it foams and bubbles for a lot longer than the, the CRC stuff. So that is inside cylinder four now. I'm still, I'm gonna have to blow it out, but yeah, you can see that massive lump of carbon that's been dislodged. And that is cylinder one. Wish me luck with the air gun. Let's try and hope we don't, um, have the same results. Well, let's have a look and see what these look like with all that crap cleaned out. By the crap, I mean the three bond fluid removed. Okay, so the valves, you can see them. So yeah, look, the valves are clean, but yeah, that's, I mean, it's half an hour on two cylinders. It's not very good. Let's check cylinder one. Again, you can see the valves, but do oh, it's pretty dirty. I am, um, like the, the three bond and the CRC is, it's dissolving the carbon, it is, and you can see that. But man, it's a, it's a hell of a lot of work. And this is taking way too long yeah like my original plan was like five or ten minutes on each one and then go to the next yeah even at 15 minutes it was hardly scratching the surface and at half an hour it's like you're half you're probably halfway through the job i mean 80 percent 90 percent of the carbon has been pulled out but there's still a lot more to clean off and you're going to need much more finickier 
brushes and bristles to get right down around the valve. I mean, I was trying to chip it away with a long screwdriver, but it's not the sort of thing you want to be stabbing your valves with. Okay, well, I'm gonna try and get this to just sort of dry off a little bit because we don't want to be pumping it with walnut whilst it's wet. Then I'm gonna walnut blast. And the walnut blasting is gonna be the two worst cylinders. So cylinder six and cylinder three. And we'll see how long that takes. Okay, so we have the walnut blaster, which is really just a sand blaster set up. It's got the walnut in it. And this is the piece that I use. Now this is, was actually, I got my brother-in-law who has a 3D printer to 3D print this. And I've just put some double-sided tape, some duct tape on it to uh, mount it onto the vacuum that we have here. But that goes in the ports and that's it. And then it's just a matter of blasting the walnut in. I actually adapted this little tool here onto the, the standard sand blasting nozzle. So guys, I think that's it. I'm gonna run it at 50 PSI. I can't remember what I ran it at when I did it last time, but we'll run it at 50, see if anything blows apart. And I thought better just give you a refresh on what cylinder six looks like. It was the worst of all the cylinders and you can see how long it takes. In fact, I'll probably just record it live on the GoPro, which is there. Um, I have my shop vac set up which will go into the nozzle and it's probably going to get very noisy because the compressor being a small compressor will probably fire up instantly, but let's get on with it. So that was a few seconds. I'm not even sure if the walnut was coming out of that then. Um, Cause it's, it's weird. You, you don't get a lot of feel because the hose is so heavy, but let's just have a quick look in there and we'll see what that looks like. Yep, she was pumping walnut out. So that was with those few seconds there. And you can see it's cleaned the top of the valves quite well. Well, sorry, the valve stems and the, the whole port is pretty damn clean. We've just got to break off that uh, that carbon that's on the actual head of the valves. So let's keep going. Oh. Oh. Okay, so I have made a little mistake. I've just noticed that the pressure gauge was right down to zero. I'd left that off. Okay, I'm just gonna turn the compressor off because it's such a slow compressor, but now that we've actually turned the compressor on, that's how quick you can clean the valve. So I've done that one. I'll let that compressor charge up again, and then we'll do the other valve. It's, um, yeah, that was just my fault. I didn't, uh, I didn't put the air pressure into the sand blaster because I'm a knob. Okay, so I think the Aldi compressor is probably a little bit uh, underrated for this. I've just turned it off, but we've got about 100 PSI in the compressor. I've got the regulator set to 60 PSI, which is what's in the uh, walnut blaster. All right, guys, I'll just show you what that one's looking like. So that's probably about six minutes with the, uh, with the walnut blaster, but you can see the difference. Like it actually cleans the valves a hell of a lot faster. And a lot of this time uh, wasted has been caused by me not having the compressor set up properly. I'm gonna let the compressor charge up again. I need to do a little bit closer to the actual uh, port of the valve on this one, which I will finish that and then we'll do another pass on cylinder three and we'll see how long that takes. Okay, so that was actually under a minute of walnut blasting. Now uh, let me show you the result that you get when you have 
the compressor set up properly. Come on, focus on the valves. So yeah, when the compressor and everything's actually set up properly, it is a super quick process to do the walnut blasting. Um, I'm gonna turn all this off and give you guys a bit of a summary. I'm obviously gonna have to do the cylinders that I did with the CRC and the three bond. Um, but yeah, walnut's the way to go. So guys, um, I guess I wanna check this out and see what it's like. I, we'll just go through it, we'll go through it. So cylinder six is the first one. This one was the first walnut blast attempt. Now again, I had the compressor and the walnut blaster not set properly, so it wasn't pressurizing. Um, and we spent about, I'll check when we go through the footage, but probably a good minute or two on this cylinder. The valves are clean, but we've got some work to do around the edges. Again, it's just a matter of getting the hose in on the correct angle when it's got walnut all working properly, but that'll be that one done. Uh, this was cylinder five. So this was the first attempt with CRC. Let's see if we can get that to focus on the valves. Yeah, I mean, we had the C there's still stuff in there. Like we had that soaking for a good half an hour and it's still filthy. So one thing you will notice be with the chemical cleaning, you can get around the edges of the cylinders a lot better than down near the valves. So it's sort of a reverse of what you do with a walnut, but yeah, we got really no, not much cleaning on the valves at all. That's crazy. That's the CRC stuff. Now the three bond, I'm gonna have to say, I think the three bond does work better than the CRC. Just have a quick look at the valves. See, yeah, there's a bit coming off the valve and you can actually see a little bit of the valve down the bottom. But again, I mean, it's nowhere near what I would call finished. Now this is cylinder three. This is when I actually had the walnut blaster set properly and it was about a minute on this cylinder so far. And yeah, that's what you're left with. So I've still got a fair bit on the side walls that I need to get off, but I'll go back and do that again. As you can tell, I've sort of ran out of time tonight to do this properly, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, just messing around with the compressor. Although the walnut blasting is actually quick when it's working, I've spent over half an hour trying to get the system to work with that little compressor, which is a bit shitty. Anyway, cylinder two, which is also CRC. I mean, this is really bad. I would hate to be completely reliant on a chemical clean. It's, it's terrible. For half an hour of scrubbing and soaking, you don't get much reward. I think um, if you do need to get your intake valves cleaned, my advice is just walnut blast all day long. If you spend an hour getting your system working, set up and working properly, um, which you shouldn't. When I did it the first time, I reckon once we had the right media, it was minutes of settling up, but I had a much bigger compressor last time. Having that small compressor is an issue and I think it does overheat. Yeah, so really, if you're gonna be cleaning your intake, just get it walnut blasted. It's gonna be so much better. If you are limited to the chemical stuff, whichever way you go is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. The CRC stuff, it works, but it's a, you gotta put a lot of elbow, a lot of elbow grease in. Um, I think the three bond works slightly better. Um, as I said, when I was using the three bond, it's definitely got a stronger smell to it. It's more aggressive, but mediocre. Um, this stuff is in Australia about $34 a can, where this is around 15. However, the cans are obviously smaller, 240 mil in that one, or it's handy, isn't it? It's 240 mil versus 300 grams, so it's, Two thirds the size ish, give or take the weight difference versus volume. Um, yeah, so to conclude this video, just use walnut blasting, um, spend the money, get the equipment, or pay a shop to do it, of course. But if you do need to absolutely DIY and you're going to go down the chemical route, I think allow a good five or six hours of actually working on the valves to do it because it's going to be, it's going to be a big, big job. So I've got more cleanup to do. Um, I'm gonna see if I can do something with that compressor to make it last a bit better. But uh, when I'm off camera, I will clean all the valves. Uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow. Get this head cleaned up because I did make a little bit of a mistake with the walnut blaster. Um, but everything's gotta be stripped down and cleaned anyway. We've gotta get all of these valves out and get onto it because I have got confirmation that on Friday I should have the order from FCP. So that'll be most of the stuff ready to put this engine back together. Anyway guys, hope you found it interesting. Um, I certainly did. Yeah, these chemical cleaners are a hell of a lot more work than I expected. So yeah, we'll leave it off there. Thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording.